Throughout my life I've been surrounded by the paranormal. I've always brushed it off and just ignored it and said it was just my imagination. But as an adult, looking back, I'm amazed I was able to just think like that. Nothing dangerous has ever happened, thankfully, at least from what I remember. Hopefully, nothing ever will. Anyways, to my post. My mom is the same and she has told me stories of what happened to her growing up with the paranormal. She used to tell me about a man who would show up at night and stand at the end of her bed. He'd be wearing black cowboy hat and a black trench coat and you couldn't make out the face, just the stubble one on his chin. She said he would walk away and the spurs on his boots would send a chill down your spine and give you goosebumps. A big cowboy kind of guy I guess. I don't know. She told me, every time he showed up to her, something bad in the family happened. Deaths, mainly. The story that sticks out to me is the night when I was six, we were living out in a trailer out in the boonies, and my mom came in my room in a frantic hurry and made sure I was alright. As a kid, you don't think too much, but I still asked my mom what was wrong and she said it's okay she said she thought something was wrong, she told me later when I was older, about 12 to 13, she said that man showed up at the end of the bed. This was the first story about the man she told me and there are others, but in this one, he just stared at her and shook his head and walked away and disappeared. She said it was the first time he's done that. She said she was expecting the worst and was on edge the rest of the night. Then the news came. My grandpa was falling trees out on our family's farm out back, and a tree fell over him. Luckily, he still lives to this day. But, the doctor said if he was brought into the hospital an hour too late, he would have passed away. When my mom told me, I thought she was just making stuff up. When I was a teenager, I didn't believe in that. I never really did. After a while I started believing more and more, then it happened to me. When I was 19 I visited, I thought it was just a dream. I woke up in the middle of the night and went to go use the washroom and grab a glass of water. When I crawled back to bed I was playing with my phone, answering texts, the brightness from my phone blocked out the rest of the room. Then I put my phone on silent and put it away to charge and then I could see him clearly, just standing there. Staring. I was frozen with fear, I didn't know what to do. He was exactly how my mom explained. I just stared back, then, he turned and walked out. Those spurs. Those F asterisk 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 I and G spurs. The hair on the back of my neck stood up and I just shivered. Goosebumps covered me. I could remember much after that. I was really tired and fell asleep. In the morning, I woke up at 7, thinking it was all a FD up dream. Then I heard a knock on my bedroom door. It was my cousin. She held her phone to me and said it was her dad. He needs to talk to me. There was a look on her face that told me there was something wrong. I held the phone up to my ear. And what was said next? Shattered my world. My family was in a serious accident. My parents and my two siblings. My father was pronounced dead on scene by the paramedics. My father, my best friend, was taken from me. My brother was in a coma for about two weeks with many injuries, my sis, just a fractured pelvic, and mom a few bumps and bruises and a fractured ankle. They walked out with barely a scratch. I grabbed my phone and it was full of messages. I booted out the door with my cousin and we went to the hospital to be with them and the rest of the family who was there for us. I'm not a super religious man but I believe in God in my own way. I prayed and prayed for my brother's recovery out of his coma, to God, and to my late father to look after him. He came out in two weeks. He made a miraculous recovery. The doctors told us he'll probably never play a sport ever again. But a year later he was cleared to play sports again. He's winning awards for basketball, and in his first football season, he was made captain, and won rookie of the year. His recovery was a miracle. I thank God and my father for that. Ever since that night, I've been a full-on believer of the paranormal.